Ah. Okay, I'm kind of stumped on this one, guys. I don't know what to think. I found something tiny. I've been looking at the ground. This isn't on the ground. I'm gonna show you guys this, and I honestly don't know what to think. Good morning, guys. Gary and Gage out exploring the woods this morning. A little bit windy and cold. Just doing a trail camera run. And I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, what we're gonna be doing upcoming this week. I talked to Grant and he's in for doing an experiment, a twin experiment. And what we're gonna do is he's gonna film his own 15 minute piece. We're gonna get some cards out, try some ESP, uh, maybe try some astral projection. Uh, if you guys don't know what that is, it's where somebody sits down, kind of med meditates and sends themselves somewhere else. So. I'm gonna get him to send himself to my house. I'm gonna to try to send myself to his house and we'll see if we can guess what each other are wearing. Maybe that's just a simple little experiment, right? Um, we'll piece that together in two 15 minute segments. He won't have any contact with me. I won't have any contact with him and then we'll edit the video and see what we get. So that's one idea I have for this week. Uh, another one that I wanna do, it's been brewing for a long time in my head and they've been doing really well lately are the trail cameras. I wanna do a best of trail cameras. I've been running cameras here on the property for five years and I've got some amazing stuff, guys. Not just this property, many properties that we own. And I wanna put all the best of clips maybe into a 10 or 12 minute video just for you guys because there's a lot of stuff on the channel and a lot of it gets missed and there's some really good stuff. So we're gonna do that as well. And today we're just gonna walk through here and I wanted to try to look for something different. I wanted to look at the ground. We're always looking at structures up in the bush, teepees and things like that, but I don't really mark anything on the trails. This bush is very dirty. Am I going to see anything that sticks out? I don't know, but as we're walking, that's what I'm gonna to do today is keep my eyes on the ground. So here's a new one on the trail, guys. Uh, right here, we've got a young poplar that's broken off. And actually, we've got, this was dead anyway, but the top of it was snapped off. That's that piece right here. So both of those are new. And I've showed you guys this spot before. This is where the prints were in the snow that one time. Came through here in the winter and saw something that looked very much like prints. Here's my tracks from yesterday. This is where we stopped to examine. Here are the tracks we looked at yesterday. So there's one of them right there. And you can still see where I was talking about where it looks like toe prints. Um, and I showed you guys this as well over here. There's a top of a tree that doesn't belong. So this is a great big spruce right here. And there are no other trees in this vicinity. And this is like leaned up against here. And I don't know why. We showed you that before. So we have been on this part of the trail many times. I'm trying to keep my eyes on the ground here guys, but there's so much junk everywhere that I think it's going to be impossible to find anything to point out on the ground. But I wanted to show you the wonderful weird things that trees do when they grow on their own. Look at this guy right here. Here's a prime example. So obviously it's dead now. We can see it's all rotting there but look at the shape that grew out from the side of this bedrock twisted out and then turned back up towards the sun and away it went huh. okay I'm kind of stumped on this one guys I don't know what to think I found something tiny I've been looking at the ground this isn't on the ground I'm gonna show you guys this and I honestly don't know what to think Really hard to see on the camera guys. This, there, there's a log here and on this log Look, there's three sticks Leaning against each other. Don't ask me how I saw this. I went to step over the log actually is how I saw it Do you see that? It's really hard to see I know but look <laughs> I don't want to move it because it's gonna fall over I think this branch here looks like it's about to fall over. Is that just normal? What is this? That doesn't seem normal to me. 
But then again, I don't, how often do I look that close? That's actually stuck in the, under the bark right here. Look at that. What is that? I said before, you don't want to look too close in these woods because you find weird things. I don't know what you guys can see on the camera. It's really weird here in person looking at this. Two little sticks leaning into each other on a log and another one looked like it was leaning in there. It's kind of falling away right now. Odd. Could a squirrel or something do that? Yeah, would it? I don't know. Well, what would the purpose of that be? What are the chances of sticks falling out of the air and landing on a log, supporting each other up? I don't know. What do you think, Gage? Natural? Or something else, hey? Well, here's another one that, I mean, uh, could be just natural. Falls down this way. We've got another one that comes through the bottom here, broken off. And then hanging at the end. Well, kind of hanging, but kind of wedged. We've got this stick right here. What is holding that up? So, it's being held up. It's caught in the Y right here. I don't know, it almost speaks to me of angles. Nah. Natural, let's go with natural. I don't know. So we did the spiritual awakening video last week in which I kind of opened up to you guys and let you know some of the things I want to investigate and the things I watch and have been doing on my own time. I want to throw a name out there for you guys. If you're interested in near-death experiences, Sylvia Isaacson. She's got a new channel, fairly new, three, four months, and she speaks with all the people that have written books and that have had experiences on this. And I think she's got about 15 videos on the channel. Excellent stuff on YouTube. Sylvia Isaacson, okay? Check it out. Also, I want to let you guys know, it was really hard to make that video, okay? That was, uh, that was an opening up yourself to other people that I didn't want to do, but I feel great now that it's done. And the support from you guys was really overwhelming. Like 97, 98% of you guys thumbs up, agreed with me, gave me, you know, some kind of positive support. And I only had to ban three people. <laughs> and I really did. I read all the comments, guys, and they were just so negative, so just uh, just trying to cause problems, you know. I just said, nope, take, take that, goodbye. Like, we're not into telling other people what to do on the channel. You can say anything you want in my comments, as long as you're not telling other people what to do, think, or believe. You can say, this is my opinion, whatever, and that's awesome. And 98% of you guys were supportive and awesome, and I want to say thanks. I also had a couple requests to do more videos, and normally, you guys know I do some weeks, some months, I put up 28 videos in a month, and that's just crazy. That's a pace I cannot sustain. I'm only working one full-time job this year. <laughs> I'm not teaching up at the college, so I'm trying to get as many videos as I can, guys, but uh, this YouTube thing is a full-time thing. It, it's killing me because finally after six or seven years on YouTube the channel is starting to get some recognition We're starting to get followers and subscribers and that's awesome I love all of you guys and I feel like oh I got to keep pushing. I can't I just it's it's a burnout waiting to happen We get out as much as we can. We're gonna explore as much as we can I'm still gonna get two or three videos a week. I just have to it's a burning desire to share so I can't stop and you got that's what you guys will get and when I have slower uh, work weeks, then I'll try to get out more videos, okay? But until then, hang in there, guys. Keep supporting. Here's a different boulder field we've never walked over before.
crazy amounts of blow down here so you know a lot of natural chaos I'll show you guys look at all the trees that are down in here but I see one over there actually kind of looks Bent, doesn't look broken. Oh, uh, it's broken. I thought it was just bent, but it's actually snap. It is kind of bent. I mean, you can see a nice curl going on here when it was alive, I guess. But at some point it snapped. And then right here, oh, look at that. Right in front of us, guys, look at this. Do you see all these like uh, leaners going in here? Right there, hang on. We're gonna get, I can see this, look at this. It's hard to see on the camera. It doesn't show angles very well. Look at this, here's another one. Look at this, <laughs> why? Look at that, one, two, three, four. And then we got another one on the back side, five, coming in completely the opposite way. These are all leaning up into here. You can see where these ones are bent over. Now these two are actually, they were growing here and they're broke. One there looks like it was placed. Another one here looks like it was placed. That one's heavy, I can't move that one. And then over here, we've got this one, which is growing there, but it's leaned in. And look it, they make a cross up there. Ha, huh, I don't know what to think. One, two, three, four, five. Again, there's five in this structure. That seems to be to be kind of a common number. Are we seeing five of these things? So again, five structures leaning into each other here. Not as obvious as some of the other teepees we've seen, but forming an X up there. You tell me. I don't know. Natural? I don't know. Again, I'm not here to tell you guys everything in this bush is made by Sasquatch. I'm just pointing out the weird structures that stick out to me and I'll let you guys decide. So again, here's a good shot of the ground, right? Like you would never be able to find a, a sign <laughs> just on the ground. Hundreds and hundreds of sticks here, so. What is that? Okay, that's actually a den. A hole in the ground, something living in there. Not a footprint. What do you got? You got a big old bone. Come here. That is not a deer bone. What do you got? Come here. I just want to look. I'm not going to take it. Look at that, guys. That's not a deer bone. I don't know what that is. Uh, we've been processing our own deer for 30 years. It's just how you do it on the farm. All the farm animals and all your deer. You don't pay to take your deer in somewhere. Not at my, not not with my dad as a dad. <laughs> you do it yourself. That's the way it's supposed to be. That is not a deer bone. Foot. 
from what I'm looking at there, foot bone, bare foot bone. That'd be my guess. If you guys got a good enough look at that and you know what it is in the comments, list below. Gary's going with bare foot bone. Almost looks like an old skidding road right here. I know there were farms on these properties around my house in the 1930s. I could be wrong, it could just be the way these rocks are piled here. Um, Stan and I travel a lot of old roads, metal detecting, 100 year old, 200 year old roads. It's almost what this looks like right here. Okay, I also see a whole bunch of broken off logs here, stacked against a rock. Is this coincidence? That's an awful lot of logs to be piled up on here. One main beam going there, and then one, two, three, four, leaning across it. saw something. Something running on the ground. There it goes. Black and white. So I'm pretty sure that was a rabbit that I saw running over there. It confused me because I saw white. Um, so if the rabbits are starting to turn color already, that's not a good thing. We haven't had snow yet, but that means it's not far off. And there is another prime example, guys, of this guy here being more attentive than that guy right there. He's more intent on his sticks and his bone. I saw that rabbit run a good 75 arc. I couldn't tell what it was because it was behind brush and under stuff. At first I thought of a weasel but it was way too big to be a weasel. I just caught a flash of something white there. Um, but prime example of Gage not doing his job. That is not your job. Right here. Look at that. One last thing as we're heading on the trail home here. Two more spruce pushed over right here. These weren't down before either and they're crossed over each other. No idea why out of all these trees would two of them right beside each other be pushed over. And you can see there's root balls down here with mud and stuff. This is pretty fresh, just turned over. You can see the ground right there. It hasn't eroded yet where they were pushed over. So why did these two, if it's the wind, why is there nothing else pushed down right beside it? It's just these two. No idea. All right guys, I'd love to stay out here all day and just explore and look for cool stuff, but I've got the kids at home today. We all have optometrist appointments. I think this guy needs bifocals. I have to look over my glasses now to see up anything up close. So I don't know. Getting old sucks. So anyway, that's the end of today's video. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to check out unfrequentedworld.com to purchase prints either signed or digital by this guy right here of these woods that we explore. I have lots of wildlife, animals, anything and everything. So go check it out. Thanks for the support guys.